game live from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. The New Jersey Generals play the Michigan Panthers. Boyovich to kick off. And that is Lott. Nope. Man's going to step in front of him there, and that is going to be Sullivan. And Sullivan brings the ball across the 20. First and 10 from near the 25 yard line. And a man is already shaken up. Oh, Bobby Scott. 32 sacks against Scott this year, 41 against the team, whereas there have been 43 sacks made by the Michigan defense. So that's what Bobby is facing tonight. Scott to throw on first down. Looking downfield, has his man there and caught by McConaughey across the 35 yard line near the 39 and first down. Jim, it's surprising. Now, we saw New Jersey last week, and they, the first two possessions they had the ball, they threw both times, and Herschel Walker didn't touch the ball, the first two plays, not the first two possessions. They come right out to New Jersey and throw the ball again. I think maybe they found a little flaw in the defense. 28 yards only on the ground for Herschel last week. And now it is the up man, and that is Carthen. And Carthen gets up five yards from the 39 to the 44. Tackled there by John Corker. And it is second down and five. So a first down on the first play, five yards on this play. This is a replay, and it's also a replay of last week. Carthen gets back, breaks to the outside. And if John Corker doesn't make the tackle, Carthen has some, some room to run to the outside. All at the 44-yard line. Michigan, as you well know, five and five. And Birmingham, which has won four in a row, coming up next week. But first things first, Herschel Walker, who is in motion now in company, are here tonight. And Scott back to throw again. Dumps it out across the way. Carthen holds on and has the first down at midfield. Tackle there again by John Corker, number 57. And again, they've gone three plays, two first downs, and where's Herschel? That's probably what they're figuring, Paul, to key on Herschel, so they're going the other way. Jim, I had an opportunity to talk to Herschel before the game and ask him about this. It bother him that they key on him. He said, no, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm used to it from college. The thing about it is when you start keying Herschel Walker, other people become open. And that's exactly where New Jersey is attacking Michigan. Here's Carthen again, and Herschel Walker leading the way with a block. And Carthen gets three or four yards, give him nearly five, down to the 46-yard line. Robert Pennywell, number 59, made the stop, the inside linebacker. Herschel does so many things. He also blocks very well. He's a big man. He's coming to the outside, and the man he's blocking is... John Corker, I believe number 57, does a job on him. Second down, and let's call it six instead of five as they move the ball back from the 46, but they're taking the ball from their own 23 and now moves to the 46. And the up man is Carthen again, and he gets across the 45 to about the 43. And for the first time in this young night, the generals now face a third down situation. Most expensive decoy in professional <laughs> football, <laughs> number 34, Herschel Walker. But that's what they have to do. They, if they start going to Carthen and they start throwing the ball to the outside and stay away from Herschel for a couple of series of downs, then that will open the gates for him. I, I just don't think that uh, Michigan will get impatient. Let us see if they go to Herschel when it's third down and three. He is the man in motion, so if they go to him, it'll be throwing the football. Scott goes across the middle, oh, and that is picked off. Picked off by Robert Pennywell, number 59, who leads the club in interceptions, make that four for Pennywell, and the drive is stopped with no ball going in the direction or handed to Herschel Walker. I said they didn't get away from Herschel Walker. David Greenwood had Herschel covered, and they're going to try to go to the tight end, Sam Bowers. And if you're going to attack a defense on a third down situation, he usually has one-on-one -on -one coverage or covered by the linebacker. And you're going to see Pennywell just step in front, good play by the linebacker, anticipated very well, interception, Michigan ball in the 38. Now Bobby Bear, John Williams, and Ken Lacey. The backfield. Bear hands off to Lacey. Lacey turns the corner and picks up good yardage. And has fumbled the football, and it belongs to the general. So turnover followed by turnover. Lacey fumbles the football. Let us see who gets up with the football. It looks like Mel Lunsford. We've got 11.45 to go in the first quarter. No score. 46-yard line, no score. Early in the ball game, and here come the generals again. And her
Herschel Walker's got the ball for the first time, and Herschel Walker's got nine or ten yards, depending upon where they spot it. And I think they're going to spot it just a half a yard shy of the first down. David Greenwood comes up to make the tackle. Only a matter of time till Herschel Walker catches the ball. Watch the cutback. He does, and David Greenwood, number 31, is going to make the tackle. Had he not made the tackle, Herschel is gone. You know, he's got about 33 to third percent of his total of last Monday night <laughs> on that one run. Second down, short yard. Not a half a yard. Herschel again, he's got the half a yard and more. First down inside the 35 yard line. Remember that this Detroit team, the Michigan Panthers, beat Birmingham. And then lost four in a row before they started a winning streak by beating New Jersey. I would give the ball to this man on short yardage, and he does a great job. He's tackled there by Ricky Williamson, number 98, but he still picks up the first down. Make to Herschel Walker, Scott in trouble. Gets the ball up for grabs, and nobody's going to get it. Gee, he didn't get that ball out of bounds. It was toward the sidelines, but what was worse, it was a dying duck high in the air and gave a lot of folks a chance for it. Kyle Borland was the man who was chasing Scott across the field. Kyle Borland had a great game against Arizona. He was in all the time on, on the passer. He's the guy that forced him out of the pocket a couple of times so Corker could get his three sacks in that game. But Borland plays a steady, steady linebacker position on the outside. Slauson left and Freedy to the right. Second down, 10. Walker breaks one tackle, driving his own man downfield. Driving his own man downfield, which enabled the Michigan Panthers to come up and cover him. Led by Pennywell, Borden, Corker, Padgett, name them all. But he found his own man in front of him there at the end. Jim, you better tackle Herschel Walker, and you better get your arms around his legs. Now watch Andy Canavino, number 62, is going to come down, and he thinks he has him right there misses him. Herschel Walker runs into his own man and down he goes. Sam Bowers was trying to get out of the way and he was <laughs> taken downfield. He's the tight end. Third down and nine to go. That's the blitz. Blitz is on. They pick up one linebacker. Now a flag goes down and so does Scott. Corker was the man blitzing. Corker was picked up and then finally got Scott. But remember, a flag went down. An offside charged against Michigan. So instead of third and nine, and it would have been fourth and long had the play counted, it'll be third down and four because you know very well they're going to take this penalty. First penalty of the ball game. In a third and four situation, I'd give the ball to Herschel Walker. He's the man that can pick up four yards on his own. There is a good crowd here tonight, and as we told you, this is Dave Kamansky, our referee, for his first call of the night. Defensive team, offsides, number 57. Ed Manning is the umpire tonight. Head linesman is Rich Elizabeth. Larry Hill, the line judge. The back judge is Mike Looney, and the field judge is Bill Schmitz. And that is John Corker. Twenty and a half sacks. Michigan has had 43. He has had almost half of them. Well, he just had a sack there, and they're going to have to take that one away from him. Third down and four. Ball on the 28. No score. Scott, Herschel's open. Oh, Bowers, Greenwood reached in front of Sam Bowers and knocked it away. And it's fourth down. Jim Herschel Walker was wide open. Nobody covered Herschel coming out of the backfield. And Scott didn't see him, and he went to the tight end, and Greenwood was there and knocked the ball down. Well, Dave Jacobs is out, Paul. He is one for one for over 50 yards, but this would be about 44 yards. And between 40 and 49 yards, Jacobs hasn't hit one all year long. Well, indoors, he has no win. 44-yard field goal attempt after the fumble, after the interception. And that is Mike Freedy holding Jacobs pretty good looking kick and it is so good looking that New Jersey leads three nothing midway through the first quarter.
down the generals. Here comes Herschel Walker, and there goes Herschel Walker. He did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Ronnie Paget coming across. Kyle Boredom, the linebacker on the same side, played it well, and there was no blocking to speak of in front of Herschel. All right, you see Herschel come and taking a toss to the outside, and Paget, you're absolutely right, 99. Look at he takes on two blockers and makes the tackle on Herschel Walker, just drags him down. He did it all by himself, even though he had his other teammates there with him. Second down, 11 to go. Brodsky, the man in motion. Fake to Walker. Scott puts the ball out, has his tight end across the way. That is Bowers. Wow, what a bump out of bounds, but a first down for the Generals by Bowers, who last Monday night had four catches against Birmingham. And that's only his 15th of the year altogether. Takes the ball to the 42-yard line. Jim, that's the problem you get into when you when you just key a man like Herschel Walker. This is a bootleg pass by Bobby Scott, and everybody's going to go with Herschel Walker. Watch the defense shift to the left. When he goes back, he goes left. And then Arnaud is the guy that's gonna, gonna hit Bowers here. But look at Bowers, is wide open. He's trying to be, they're covering with a land, linebacker, Andy Canavino, number 62. But here's the hit, watch this. First down from the 42, Scott. Steps up in the pocket and gets a couple of tough yards. A couple of men almost got him. The man who's upset that he didn't get him was Ronnie Padgett. Alan Hughes also had a shot, and Scott saves a possible loss and picks up two yards. Second down and eight, the ball at the 39-yard line. 3.47 to go. First quarter, Silver Dome Pontiac. It's 3-0 the Generals on the 44-yard field goal by Jacobs. First man through is Carthen. Who gets down as a flag goes down to the 36 yard line. The flag is back at the 39 and a half yard line. And holding is going to be called against the Generals of New Jersey. And that will put them way back. Mistakes for a young football team, you just can't afford them. You've got, a, you've got Michigan down three points. You're on a drive. And this is what just kills you. It's second down and now about what, 17, 18? About that. Let's call it 18 as they move the ball back to the 49 yard line. They've got to get it down to the 31 yard line for the first down. Holding offense. Second down. That's Kent Hall, the center, called with holding. He and the right guard, Wayne Harris, both rookies out of Mississippi State, where they played last year. McConaughey. Wide to the left. He had the only touchdown of the game for the Generals last Monday against Birmingham. Herschel Walker coming in motion to the right. Scott across the middle has his tight end, and that's Sam Bowers, second catch of the night. He picks up some of the yardage lost on the penalty, but not too much, as Andy Canavio knocks him down at the 43-yard line. Jim, Sam Bowers is the man you want to throw to because of Michigan's defense. What Michigan's doing with the linebackers are they're trying to cover the tight end, and that tight end being Sam Bowers, number 89. They're giving him the little short stuff in front, then they shut it down. Now they know they can get, give a little bit because it was second and 18. Now it's third and 12. The linebackers can still give a little. Victor Hicks, who was a, having a fine year before he got hurt, is ready to play, but Bowers had a good game last week. He's had a good game tonight. Scott puts it up, and there's Herschel running under it, and it's caught at the seven-yard line. Walker's speed, talk about Olympic speed. He just simply caught up to the ball. A 36-yard play. Jim, you hit it right on the head. Herschel Walker comes in motion. He goes straight up the field, and he breaks what they call a corner pattern. He's got Greenwood on him and Arnold on him. Now watch this, Herschel. You're right. He just outruns the football and catches the ball. First and goal to go. And Michigan, perhaps with its largest crowd, with a great entertainment at halftime and wanting to do well, what started their five-game winning streak was beating New Jersey. They would hate to have New Jersey end their five-game streak on a night like this. Thus far, it's been all New Jersey. Herschel Walker, Walker bounces off people and down to about the three-yard line. A pickup of four. Corker and others in on the tackle as he bowled a couple of people over. And we can see David Tipton getting up very slowly, the nose guard. No secrets here. 
just give the ball to Herschel for the next two, three plays. 219 and counting, first quarter. With a three point lead, Jim, when you get inside the 10 yard line with a guy like Herschel Walker running the football and Carthen, I'm not taking anything away from him, but it is a four down situation. You don't think field goal here, you think touchdown. Inside the three, Kent Hall ready to snap the ball to Scott. Tight end in motion. Herschel Walker straight ahead into the end zone, touchdown. Walker has scored his. 10th touchdown of the year on a two yard plunge and he set it up with that great catch. Give credit to the offensive line. They do a great job. Tipton gets blocked. They get pushed back and Herschel just rides the pile goes right up over the top. Something that he's noted for. Michigan a little shell shock but we'll point out again that New Jersey which may do better tonight in this 12 team league 10th in defense, 12th against the rush, 8th against the pass. You can score New Jersey, or most people have been able to. But New Jersey has surprised a few teams. Jacobs in to try the extra point, and Jacobs has it, and it's 10 nothing. Surprise the Generals. Monday Night Football, the USFL on ESPN. I'm Jim Simpson with Paul McGuire. If we had to pick the men in MVP now, which we will at the end of the game, I think it'd be Herschel Walker. Whoever gets it will receive that thousand dollars donated to the college or university of his choice. It is first down 10 after the catch by Carter at the 41 of New Jersey. Michigan trailing 10 nothing. And the handoff to Lacey coming around this side. And Lacey's got running room. And Dana Noel down low, bumped it out of bounds, but not until he picks up the first down at the 27 yard line. And here comes Michigan until now thwarted. Jim, one of the guys we talked about in Michigan, Tyrone McGriff, number 61, watch what he does on Weddington. He gets around the corner. Now he screens him just enough to get Lacey to the outside. All he has to do is screen the, the uh, linebacker. When he does that, you can run, man. No surprises there. New Jersey moved the ball very well. Passing yardage, though, that's the surprise, 98 yards. 36 of those on that one play to Walker. There and that all straight ahead, Lacey. Now they're making that number 12 in the league against the rush look like a proper statistic ball. Lacey picked up a first down the last time, and now Clemens tackles him after a pickup of about seven yards on this play. Move the ball to the 21 of New Jersey, and it's second down. I've only seen one man so far in this league that's out of shape <laughs> a little bit. Was and that that's, you in the booth? That's me in the booth. That's <laughs> one. And number 79, Steve Williams, a nose guard. He's six foot, 280 pounds for New Jersey. Second down. Hey, Bear may be authorizing, and he's going to get the ball over to Holloway, one on one. And Noel was playing way off him, and Holloway had the easy grab, even though it was thrown high, for the first down, down to the 13 yard line. When you see that much time being taken at the line of scrimmage by a bear in Michigan you know it's an audible when you see Holloway or Anthony Carter one on one on the corner man, they're going to go there it's a great audible to have and Dana Noel that's twice now he's in first with Anthony Carter way off and now with Holloway way off you've got to get up and play these guys one on one. I remember when we replayed the Carter catch we never saw anybody in the picture aside from Carter until after he caught the ball and he was running lickety split down the field. Now John Williams cuts inside, dragged down, but not until he gets inside the 10-yard line, and that was Ricky Williamson, number 98, the rookie out of Mars Hill in North Carolina, who made the tackle. It'll be second down. A gain of three, second and seven. 13 minutes, five seconds to go in the first half. Thus far, until this drive, it has been all New Jersey, and they lead 10-0. But here come a bear and the Panthers of Michigan all the way left Carter right. Williams can't go anywhere tries to get another yard or two and gets down to about the eight third down. I am fascinated by looking at number one. And wondering when they're going to get the ball. And I'm also fascinated looking at number 29 who's caught one tonight because he has those seven touchdown passes. And the way the cornerbacks are laying off them, Paul, you just figure they could just go down, out, or in, and Abair could deliver the ball. But we shall see. As long as Abair has that freedom to audible, 
as long as he has the freedom to audibleize Jim at the line of scrimmage, when he reads that those corner men are playing off of both Holloway and Carter, you've got to go now. Holloway, uh, Holloway and Carter, neither one of them are in the ball game. That's right. Two tight ends at the moment on third down. And they give the ball to Williams, and Williams is not going to get very far. It's going to be fourth down. Trying to run John Joyce, who had a great game against Birmingham last week with seven unassisted tackles and 15 total tackles. Number 47 made the stop. Well, they've gotten down here, and all of a sudden, New Jersey stiffening inside, and they're going to have to settle for a field goal attempt, apparently, again. This time, well within Boyovich's range. From the 13 yard line, it'll be a 23 yard try. And the fans boo because they want Michigan to go for it, but it is fourth and four. And you're down 10 points. You want to get some points on the board just to pick up your offense and inspire your defense a little bit. Boyevich has his first of the night. And now it's 10 3. The general still leading. None of those men in the game tonight. Johnson, Ellis, Bugs, Ball, Holm, Trevilian, they've all had good years. But so have a few of these receivers here tonight, especially Derek Holloway with seven touchdown catches. Here is Boyovich, who's made it 10-3 to kick off to Thomas Lott, the former Oklahoma quarterback. And it's not going to be taken by Lott, but a man on the far side. It looks like Dwight Sullivan gets the ball across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Sullivan's number 46. He scored the only touchdown against Michigan the last time they played, which was back in April. Five minutes and 33 seconds, and they came away with a field goal. And someone is hurt on the field. And it's, oh my heavens, it is Will Coakley, the linebacker. Back in a moment. Bowers in motion, and there he goes, Herschel Walker. And I believe he's got enough for the first down. Give him ten and a half yards. John Corker finally corralled him. Jim, when he sees that hole up the middle, just take a look at it. Carthen is number 33 getting a good block, and that's on Canavino. And he just loses balance for a second. Herschel Walker, number 34, and picks it up and picks up the first down. Tremendous strength. On wide left comes McConaughey. Ball at the 39 yard line fake to Walker this time he was open but they're going to throw and have their man again and what a night he is having Sam Bowers that is catch number three for him remember he caught four last week and Clarence Chapman bumped him out of bounds but it's a first down at the 40. Sam Bowers wearing glasses will play action pass fake to Herschel on a draw. And then Scott just sees Bowers going down the sidelines. That's Borland, number 52, trying to stay with him. The linebacker, you can't cover him with a linebacker. And also Greenwood, 31, who just doesn't get there. 40-yard line. The general's up by seven. Their coach, Chuck Fairbanks, looking on. Herschel Walker with a football. And he just takes a couple of men with him and makes sure he picks up seven yards. Second down and three. When you watch that play, that quick draw to Herschel Walker, what's happening is that offensive line are getting that real quick move, the trapping in the uh, in the defensive line, and he gets that small opening. And once he gets that opening, he gets up ahead of steam at six yards. That is Bowers in motion, and that is Walker with the football. And Walker may have the first down. If he does not, it's shy by inches. Kyle Borland making the tackle. It's Herschel is having his chances tonight, and unlike last Monday night, is doing very well. Yeah, and he's breaking. Everything is up the middle. He makes that little quick step just to hold the linebackers to the outside. Borland is the man that makes a tackle number 52. Looked like he's in a rodeo, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> hold on. Time. Just hold on. Third down and inches to go. The nose of the football almost on the 30, and that's what they've got to reach. And Scott, excuse me, Scott makes sure he's got it. Usually the safest play in football. Nine minutes to go in this first half, 10 to 3. And the big thing is, thus far, the team that is dead last on defense. Jim, he didn't make it. They moved the ball back. They moved it. They, they certainly did. Because Scott was way over there. 
And the official has started the clock. Look at Fairbanks, my heavens. He was a step across the 30, in my opinion, before he went down. Well, I wonder who gets it now. They're going to go for it. This time they get to Herschel, and he's got it. He can't got take it. that away from him. That's the first down. I actually, Paul, I saw him do this. Looked away from the field of play after Scott because I knew he had it. Yeah, I thought he did too. Herschel Walker up over the top. You'll see this so many times throughout the year. The defense played it very well. That's Banizak is in there, number 76. But watch the defense. They're going to go up. Canavino goes up to meet him. They're right there, but they just can't stop it. He is airborne. And Jim, he only got it by a half a yard where they marked the ball. I'm looking at you. I'm not saying anything. The ball at the 29-yard line. They got a linesman right down the line of scrimmage. And, of course, we're a little bit off, but it sure looks different up from up here. That is Bowers in motion on first down. Herschel, after a little delay, comes back this way, finds a hole, and gets inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with John Arnaud, number 25, hanging on. And I started to say the big thing here, not only is New Jersey shutting down Michigan most of the time, but they're taking it right to that Michigan defense. This is not the New Jersey team we saw last week, and Herschel Walker is running so much better. Hughes is going to miss him, number 98. And Borland's coming from the other side to make the tackle, but Herschel Walker picks up eight yards. Herschel, wow, he got a hit as he got to the line of scrimmage. Looked like Dave Tipton is the first man that got him, and Walker ripped right through his arms before Alan Hughes put him down, number 98. It is third down and a yard to go. There's Herschel, needs 23 yards to regain the rushing lead. He had that long catch of a pass to set up the touchdown tonight. It's 10-3, New Jersey, and the generals are on the move. Here's an ideal situation to run a play-action pass because everybody's keying on Herschel Walker, but they're not going to do that. There's Herschel bumping into a group of people as the flag goes down. They'll untangle, and then Dave Kamansky will tell us what it is, and it's going to be against Michigan, so that's going to be an automatic. They did that once before, jumping. On a third and nine situation, made it third and four. It was third and one, and they give him a first down down to the 15-yard line. I didn't see anybody move, but I think maybe they lined up offside. Defensive team, number 22, offside. Results in a first down. That was that the corner man. That was the corner man. What was he doing? He was way outside. He was waiting, just lined up on a line. I guess Itching so. up. Itching up. Jim Stanley, ball game is still up for grabs, only seven points, but thus far his team has been outplayed offensively and defensively. And his team is on the five-game winning streak. Freedy in motion. Scott rolling. Scott still rolling, and Scott's going to be rolled out of bounds by David Tipton, the nose guard. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. David Tipton plays this so well. Jim, he is the nose man, and it's another bootleg pass. With Scott, no place to throw. Tipton goes up in the air, forces Scott to bring the ball back down, and then makes the tackle. That's great hustle. Put the ball back at the 17-yard line, and that is called it second down and 12. By the way, the linesman across the way has it at first down, not second. Now he changes to second. Walker does not get anywhere at all as David Tipton makes his second fine play, number 65. And now it is third down and another loss on the play. Third and nearly 14 to go. Now that Michigan defense is playing. David Tipton's making this his series. 6'2", 260 pound, nose tackle. To stop Herschel Walker for a loss is a great feat in itself. Now let's see what they do on third down and 14 to go. Scott looks as a man down there and the catch is made at the five yard line and they'll have to get up before I can see who it is. And it is 
89 Sam Bowers with his fourth catch of the night. Question is is it just shy of the first down. Looks as though it is. Picked up 13 and a half yards. Pennywell the linebacker dropped off to make the stop. And they're going to go for it. They did not bring the kicker in Jacobs. They're going to go for the, for the on a fourth down. When you're three and seven and have to go home and face the blitz of Chicago with George Allen in the mood he's in after yesterday next Sunday you better put out all the stops tonight. Do you think it'll be Walker to vault again. Answer no but he's inside the five yard line. It was not a vault but just simply a straight ahead play. He yeah. is what. He has gone through the air for a touchdown and a first down. And this time he just stayed right on the ground. Jim, you're absolutely right. Look at this. He knows he's got to get the first down. And that, that play was designed to go up the middle. But Arnott, number 25, is, is the man, the safety man that's up there pulling back. And I would have to say he got the first down. They're going to measure to see whether or not he did get the first down. And it looks as though he did by plenty. More than the length of the football. And it is first and goal. You know, Michigan is not to be discounted. The score is only 10 to 3, New Jersey, and they do have a first down, but they have not scored yet on this series. But how often does it happen? You get on a good streak, you come home, you get a ball club you're favored heavily to beat, you get the biggest crowd you've had all year long, and whoops, something goes wrong. Well, they just got to get back in at halftime and put things together. One thing, New Jersey, they are running the time off the clock. And they're going straight ahead for the touchdown. Number 46, Dwight Sullivan. He scored the only touchdown of his career in this league against the same team, Michigan. The first time they played, and that was the only touchdown they had. And Sullivan scores again from four yards out. Watch number 34. Not only does he run with the ball, he appreciates other blocks. Look at the block Walker gets right there in the line of scrimmage. He gets a block on number 59, Pennywell, the linebacker, and Sullivan goes in for the score. And now it is going to be quite a little comeback, even though they got much more than a half to do it in for Bobby Abair. And Jacobs comes in to kick the extra point. The extra point is good, and looky here, it is 17 to 3, New Jersey. Has got to win to stay one game behind Tampa. Uh, they'd be two games behind Tampa and one game behind Chicago. And remember, they might not even make the playoffs if they should lose along the way. And this is the game we're supposed to win. Jacobs kicks off. And that is Williams in the end zone. And this time he knows where he is, puts it down. And they give him a big cheer. And it'll come out to the 20-yard line first down. Herschel Walker had a good first half. That doesn't include the 36 yards on a pass. You know, we did a thing last week against Birmingham with Herschel Walker, and I said if if you could keep Herschel Walker within a hundred yards, running and passing combined, you have a pretty good chance of beating New Jersey. Well, he's just about at a hundred yards right now with receiving and running the football, and at 140 yards, they have after 140 yards, they have not lost a game. And when he's rushed for 140, Williams and Lace in the backfield, a bear. The quarterback Carter and Holloway are wide. First down from the 20. That is Lacey gets a good block, breaks a tackle, and has a first down. One out of bounds at the 31-yard line by number 27, Sam Sock. You got the linebackers going to the inside. Lacey just dips a little bit, lets the linebackers. That's Dornbrook, 63, gets a good block on Joyce. John Joyce, number 47. And Lacey goes down and picks up the first down. On the 31 yard line. A lot of time left. We've just begun the second half. The first half was all the generals and Herschel Walker. Carter again right, Holloway left. You wonder when they're going to hit up hook up on the big play to one of those two men Carter or Holloway. Cornerbacks are 10 to 15 yards off them as they start the play and there's Carter over there and he's got another first down. He curled back at the 44 and then curled back again to the 49. 
Donnie Harris puts him down, but not until he picks up a first down. Jim, we're seeing excellent play by two offensive lines. Let's take a look at Michigan's offensive line. Take a look at the def defensive linemen. They just don't get near a bear. He just gets the ball off to Anthony Carter. When you have that much time and give Carter that much running room on the outside, Dana Noel has got to come up and play Carter a little bit closer. Two downs, two first downs. Hey there again. Got his man Holloway. And he's got it inside the 35. Three downs, three first downs. Is Holloway in or is Holloway out? Play action pass. Take a look at his feet. He is out of bounds. His toes are in bounds, but his heels are out of bounds. Drive began on the 20 yard line. First down on a running play, two first downs on passing plays. The Panthers have yet to score a touchdown. Jim All Stanley, the way right, Carter left. Jim Stanley must have said something as you said at halftime. The man spoke. Bear again. And this time the sack. Sack made by James Lockett, number 96. All the way back across the 40 to the 44. Now they're going to mark it at the 41. A Bear again has time to throw the football. Take a look at the offensive line. They're blocking at the line of scrimmage, and Lockett just comes up the middle. He beat Chris Godfrey, number 70. Had A Bear stepped just one step sooner to the outside, Lockett wouldn't have been able to have him. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Cobb, number 89. Second down, 17. A Bear throwing on nearly every down. Going down the sidelines, and there's the catch made by Holloway. Out of bounds. It does not count. And it's third and 17. There's Holloway on Dana Noel. Sam Sop, number 27, is going to come into the picture. Look at where that ball was put right on target. He got one foot in bounds. His left foot didn't get there. This ball is just perfectly thrown. Take a look at his right foot is inbounds. Left foot out of bounds. They move smartly all the way down to the 35 yard line and they were thrown back to the 41 and now it is third down and 17. Throw over the middle. Three wide receivers. McLean is the third. Here's Abair. Flips his arm. Abair goes. Carter does not have a flag down. Called on Donnie Harris, but remember, it's a 15-yard penalty unless they consider it so flagrant. An automatic first down, however. He's thrown to Donnie Harris. Aber had to scramble. Harris gets beat to the inside. Now, there's a touchdown there if the ball was thrown. Now, just take a look at what they called was Donnie Harris with his right arm pushed Anthony Carter. But remember one defense, thing, that ball is anybody's ball when it's soon thrown up in the air. The defense just has as much right to it as the offense has. Had he not thrown that one arm at him, and you're right, it's a 15-yard penalty and a first down. Which a lot of people here, Paul, do not understand, and they're booing a little bit, thinking they should be first and goal to go. But unless you just take out a club and hit the man over the head, they're going to only call 15 yards and first down automatically. So 15 yards would not have given them the first down penalty alone, but it's an automatic first down, and they move the ball to the 26-yard line. Carter in motion to the right. And here comes Lacey. Inside the 20, inside the 15, bumped out of bounds at the 10. First down. Number 28, Ken Lacey, but Tom Dornbrook, number 63, gets a great block to the outside. Here he comes. He's going to get, actually, he's going to get two men. He throws there. Joyce goes down, and he also gets the other linebacker, and Lacey is running very, very well. When you get that kind of blocking, I could run. Well, not 17-3, New Jersey. Fairbanks' team on top, but Michigan is driving. 
Lacey has carried the ball 10 times for 83 yards. Hebert fires it. Carter lost the football incomplete, they say, at the goal line. He took a hit. Looked like Sam Sop hit him, and Carter couldn't hang on to the football. Second down. Jim, one of the officials on the far side of the field waved touchdown. Now, A. Bear, this time he does step out of trouble. Watch him. He's going to make that move back up to the to the middle. He sees Anthony Carter. Now, does he have the ball long enough? The question is, he does have the ball long enough. The one official called touchdown in the end zone, and then they said an incomplete pass. But remember one thing. All that ball has to do is cross the goal line with possession, whether he fumbles afterwards or not. And both feet were down on the ground inside the goal line. Exactly. However, that was a touchdown, but it's called back. Called back. That's one that'll agonize over in the films, whether they score or not. Here's Williams trying to get this a good block. Williams will score. Dornberg again. Cleared the way. Second time he's really cleared him out. We had a guy last week put on a clinic by the name of Buddy Adelet from Birmingham. We're seeing the same thing in this drive by Tom Dornbrook, number 63. Watch the blocks. He, he gets a block on the corner. Williams is watching Dornbrook. Look at this. He just rolls over the corner, man. That's Donnie Harris, number 26, and goodbye, Williams. And now it is 17 to 9. What? Novo Bojovic coming on to make it 17-10 and put them in the ball game for sure with 12.52 to go. Bojovic puts it up and that's the score. 17-10, nearly a half to play. 17-10, Michigan to kick off. Ball is taken across the field and out across. Oh, my. Out across the 20 yard line, Mike Edwards makes quite a tackle of Olander, who is their punter and sometime kick returner. Watch number 63, Dornbrook. It makes it easy for the running back. Here's Donnie Harris coming up to take on the big guard. Dornbrook just wipes him out. Williams goes in. That's Joyce, number 47, that's trying to catch up. But you're going to see, here comes Dornbrook right into your face. How would you like to look at this guy coming up to make a, make a stop? <laughs> Donnie Harris just dropped his head. Dornbrook buries him. Williams touchdown from the 21 yard line now a 17 10 ball game I got something interesting about Herschel Walker after this play he's in motion to the right and Solomon takes the ball up the middle for about five yards across the 25 to the 26 of those yards gained in the first half Paul throwing out the pass play he ran 16 times 12 times Herschel went to the right only four times did he go to the left well, he's right handed <laughs> So is the team. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Second down and five. Both wide receivers on the left side. 12-15 to go, third quarter. Walker again in motion. Scott hands again to his fullback. Sullivan and Sullivan's not going anywhere. Stacked up there. Borden comes up, says he's got the football. Borden came up, said, I got the football. Turnovers in this time of the game. You've got Michigan fired up. I don't know what Stanley said to him. Here comes Sullivan to the outside. Pennywell's there. Borland's there. Borland's just going to take the ball out of his hand, and he does on the way down. The question is, is he stopped? Well, A Bear's back on, so Borland just stole the ball away from Sullivan. Technically, that is a fumble. But it's a steal for Borland. That's right. And New Jersey came out doing the same thing they did in the first quarter of the game, staying away from Herschel and going to the other backs. And there goes Lacey inside the 25, down near the 20. That's a pickup of nearly eight yards with Maurice Clemens, number 59, holding on. Along with John Joyce, the other inside linebacker. Jim, isn't it amazing when you see a back like Lacey, who really hasn't done a whole lot this year. He's running well. But you get him in a game with a guy like Herschel Walker, and all of a sudden he gets inspired. He wants to outgain Herschel Walker, but he's got the offensive lineman to do it for him. All the way to the right, Carter to the left, 17 to end the score. 
Straight ahead goes Lacey. First down inside the 15. Tripped up by Rod Schoke at the 18, and he fell forward to the 14. And now they're putting the ball down on a 13-yard line. The right guard, Tom Dornbrook, the whole offensive line, they're doing a the job. But look at Dornbrook. He just comes in and buries. I think that's Joyce. I can't see. That is Joyce, number 47. He buries him. First down. Michigan looking for the tying touchdown. Right ahead, Lacey again inside the 15-yard line. And don't you think he's not holding on after he saw what happened to his counterpart, Dwight Settleman of New Jersey, when Borden simply stripped him of the ball at the 28. Lacey better than 100 yards on 13 carries. I said before, you get inspired. <laughs> you watch a guy like Herschel Walker, you say, if he can do it, why can't I? And I've got the better offensive line, so why not? Second down, six to go. The ball just inside the 10. Carter to the right, Holloway left. Tight end is on your right side, back split wide. A bear to Williams, cuts inside and gets down to about the six. Piled up there. It'll be third down and short yardage for the first down. Maurice Clemens again, the principal tackler. All right, now you're going the other way with McGriff, the other guard. He gets a block on the outside, and Williams cuts it back in. Again, Jim, you're down in two. It's it's third down, but you're in two down territory. As well as they're moving the ball, don't get fancy. Don't try to do anything tricky. You've got a great offensive line. You've got two excellent pulling guards. Go for it. This is where you don't want the flea flicker. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Holloway in motion. They only need a couple of yards, and Abair's going to throw into the end zone, and he's got his first down, I believe. That is Don Eccles. Let's see where they mark the football. Eccles is arguing, but now they mark it down and say it is a first and goal to go. Put the big tight end in the game. Holloway, number 29, is in motion. Look at the blocking by the offensive line. Dornbrook doesn't have anybody to block until late. He hits the big tight end. Eccles over the middle. It's got the first down. Paul, I'm sure you know that they drove 80 yards for a touchdown. Then the Jersey Generals only had it for one play. They got it back again, and here they are again. And they're oh, easy gets into the end zone. Lacey, he was stumbling, but all he had to do is make the, the move. And Lacey has his fourth touchdown rushing. Jim, you know your offensive line is doing the job when you can stumble into the end zone and still get the touchdown. Just a direct handoff to the outside. Now that man, number 74, is Penny to the outside. He is a blocking tight end. Lacey Stubbles gets in there. Eccles is also down there to get a block. Now Boyovich to tie this game up with 8.24 to go in the third quarter. It was 17 to 3 at the half. Boyovich is going to try to make it 17 all. It is 17 all. Lots of football left. Back to the Silver Dome in a moment. Well, that puts further pressure on Herschel Walker and, of course, on. Jeff Napple, who just joined the ball club about 10 days ago, has not played it down until now. There's Scott across the way. They say it's doubtful he'll be back. First down, mark the ball at the 15 yard line. 17 all, 341 to go, third quarter. And Williams picks up six yards up to the 21 yard line. Hanging on, Rod Schote, number 56, Donnie Harris, number 26. Second down and four to go. Jim, when your offensive line is blocking as well as Michigan's offensive line is doing right now, the whole game opens up to you. What I mean by that is you've got the defense at your mercy because they know they can run on you and pick up five or six yards on first down. It opens the pass plays up, and it's going to open up a guy by the name of Anthony Carter, number one. Well, this play has worked all night long. Let's see if it does here. This time they close it down. 
Mike Williams, the quarterback, held his ground and led the tackling. John Joyce came over to help out. And there's no gain on the play. It's third down. A matter of fact, they lost about a half a yard. Third down and five to go. Great penny, number 74. Just take a look at him. He's going to just trap block. He's cutting his man down. He just doesn't want any pursuit from the backside. Get to their legs. The big men go down. 17 all. Paul has already penciled in his first four games for the 1984 season since San Diego got into the USFL. Paul used to live there and play there. Visit a lot of old friends. Holloway was a man in motion on third down. Hey oh, he's got a man all by himself. And across the way is Don Echols. His second catch of the night and his second big play of the night. Watch this play by Echols now. He's 6'4", 225 pounds, and you think he is an agile? He's going to get a block downfield by Anthony Carter. Sam Sop, number 27. This is what you want to feel bad when he sees the films. He's gonna, he's gonna get laughed at by the players. But watch the move. Anthony Carter's getting a block. Take a look at that over Dana Noel, and he stays in bounds. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ray Penny, number 74. We we're talking about him. Talk about holding your man at the line of scrimmage. There's <laughs> no place to go. He held him there. Carter in motion. 17 all. Two minutes, five seconds to go. Third quarter. And now here's Lacey. This time he gets around Williams, and Sop has to put his shoulder into it, but not until he picks up five or six yards. Stopping the clock as he steps out of bounds. How many times has Lacey come left tonight? Over and over again. And Mike Williams, number 29 for New Jersey, had a legitimate complaint. Derek Holloway, number 29 for, for Michigan, blocked him from the back, and that's, that's how Lacey got to the outside. There was no call. Second down. Five to go. That's great, the score. Great throwing down right here. We've got Dana Noel one on one on Anthony Carter on the outside. Straight ahead this time. Lacey runs over one man, gets inside the 45, down to the 43. Joyce is the man who was run over, but Joyce is the man who stopped Lacey. Very close to a first down. <laughs> I was watching Holloway 29 on Mike Williams, number 29, and the two big men going after each other. Mike Williams, 5'10", 188. Derek Holloway, 5'7", 165. And doing some great chicken fighting. Jim Stanley just turned his back to you with the headset, the man on the right of the two of the headsets, on this third and one situation with two tight ends in there. That's one tight end in motion. And here's Williams, who's got the first down and lots more. Down to about the 41, but Donnie Harris on top of him. Rock running 105, third quarter in this tie game. Here's the offensive line we've been talking about against the defense. Mike Williams is right up on a line of scrimmage. They just seal everything down. That's Ray Penny, number 74. Tyrone McGriff coming to the outside, takes on two people. Williams. Gets a hit by Donnie Harris, can't hold him, and he picks up the first down. 45 seconds to go all through the first half, which ended 17-3, the generals. We kept mentioning Herschel Walker. It's been all Michigan there, and we've hardly mentioned Herschel's name. He hasn't had a chance in the third quarter. The fake to Williams, looking downfield, and Carter makes the catch at the 15. Jimmy, so beautiful, when he made the catch, he had presence of mind knowing he was close to the sidelines. He tried to stop to get back in bounds. Take a look at the blocking of the offensive line again. A bear has got all day to throw the ball. He beats Dana Noel to the outside and also Donnie Harris, but watch his feet. He's trying to stop to come back to the inside. You take a look at him. He thought he could score. He's beautiful. Carter stays in, comes out to the left. Holloway goes to the right. Michigan has been behind since moment one of this game. They've tied it up with two touchdowns in the third quarter. And now looking to go ahead. Lacey on the other way. Lacey bumped out of bounds at the four with Sam Sopp doing the bumping along with Dana Noel. Jim Stanley holds up the play he wants. 
He gets outside of the outside linebacker, Hammond, number 54. There's a great block there. There's Hammond trying to come up, and Lacey goes downfield. He just runs over Dana Noel, and Sam Sop knocks him out of bounds. And on this side of the field, someone threw a flare. You can see the young man bringing it off there, and an official raced within five yards of it, and then thought, uh-oh, and backed off about 10. It did not go off. It's dangerous here in Detroit. First down and goal to go. The ball at the three-yard line. 18 seconds left in this third quarter. A Bears 10 of 15 for 184 yards. Eccles in motion. Williams a man with a football touchdown. Williams scores his second touchdown of the night. He goes right over Dornbrook and, and Radloff the center, number 55 and number 63. And that hole was right there. And what is worse for the generals of New Jersey? It is doubtful that Bobby Scott will come back to quarterback once they get the ball back. Here it is. Watch that offensive line fire out. Now Radloff and Dornbrook are the two guys on the right-hand side. And here goes Williams right up the middle. He wanted this touchdown. And now back live with Boyevich to kick the extra point, which is good. 14 seconds to go. Michigan on top, 24-7. Third quarter almost over, 14 seconds to go. John Williams has scored his second touchdown. Michigan leads for the first time. Boyovic to kick off. Lotta foot. Thomas Lotta at the five. Fumbled the football for the second time tonight. Picks it up and has run out of bounds inside the 10. First down from the nine. Chapman put him out of bounds. Another man that appreciates good blocks, Ken Lacey, number 28. He's going to put his face in there. And Williams just follows him right through, and there's Dornbrook, 63, along with him. But it's nice to see a back stick his nose in there when, he's, when he doesn't have the football. This is the worst field position of the night for the New Jersey Generals as you take a look at that scoring drive. And it looks like Scott is going to come back in. They said he was not. They need him. They lied to you, Jim. They need him. They're down by seven with almost a full quarter to go. Sullivan, the up back. And put down across the way as time runs out. Back in a moment with the fourth quarter, 24-17. We begin the fourth quarter. I'm Jim Simpson, Paul McGuire, live from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. The Panthers have come up with 21 points in this third quarter and lead. And here is Herschel Walker that's got to do a lot for this ball club to stay in the game, meaning the generals. Take a look at New Jersey. 114 yards passing or rushing, 153 passing. Michigan, 193 rushing. And 184 yards passing. Uh, Chuck Fairbanks is down there looking at the clock, which should be all right. He may be looking at the fact that it was supposed to be second down and three, and they've marked the ball twice since taking it to the other end of the field. Now have it on the 11-yard line, and they may move it even more. Fairbanks may have seen it. No, they're not going to. They've got it on the 16. They got it up to the 16. They got to get over the 19. So let's call it second down and almost four. Conahay has caught one ball all night. That was early on. That is Bowers in motion. Scott handing off to Herschel Walker. And Walker gets out to the 18 and a half yard line, about a yard shy. And Phil Dokes really stuck his head in there. The Oklahoma State player who played for Jim Stanley back there and later for the Buffalo Bills. Third down, a yard to go. Again, they bring in the second tight end, Victor Hicks. Again, they bring in Joe Robinson at a tackle. But a man like number 34 on the other side of the line of scrimmage, no seven-point lead is safe. He can bust one at any time. They're just now looking for the first down. And there's Sullivan, and Sullivan may not have had it. 
Ricky Young down at the bottom. And now we see it is Robert Pennywell up top and a flag down. They call a flag on Corker, number 57. He bumped into the official, didn't agree with the call, the marking of the ball. And they're going to, on sportsman line conduct against number 57, John Corker. And that's going to move the sticks 15 yards. They're heading way downfield. Dave, official Dave Kamansky, he'll tell us. There's your unsportsmanlike conduct. The question is, did he bump into the official? Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense, number 57. First down. Let's see if we can see what Corker did. We can't hear what he said. All right, there's Corker. He's bending down looking at the ball. Now watch him. He's going to come up. And he bumps into, I think he bumps into the official. Yeah, the official. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> I see you. First down, the ball at the 35-yard line. Michigan by seven. Scott back to throw. Scott dumps it out to Herschel Walker. Look at that. Walker's got the first down still on his feet. Nobody can catch him there. He's got the speed, nobody will. 65 yards, Herschel Walker. That's what I said when he's on the other side of the line of scrimmage. You can never take anything for granted. John Corker, number 57, had a shot at him, and Herschel just ran away from him, and then he ran away from everyone else, including Clarence Chapman, who, who was the corner man, number 22, that can't catch him. It's a little screen back to the outside to Herschel, but once he gets the ball, he does most of this on his own. So you'll see Corker coming into the picture, gets bumped off. Herschel runs through two tackles. And it wants Clarence Chapman, number 22, the only man that really has a shot at him, and there's no way to catch him. He's got the angle on him, and it made no difference. And now to tie it up, Jacobs out there. Jacobs has tied it up. It's 24 all. Don't go to bed yet. We're coming back to the Silverdome. Instead of having the ball at the 49 yard line, the illegal block puts the ball back just over the 30 yard line. 24 all, first down, Michigan. Lacey is in there, but Abair's going to throw the ball out here for Carter, who's got it and has driven back, but he's got a first down at the 45. Daniels is the man who hit him. Daniels in for Dana Noel, who went off nodding to the crowd that he's okay. Look how far Daniels is. Terry Daniels, number 24, Alf Anthony Carter. Look how long it takes him to get back to him after he catches the football. You can't give Anthony Carter that much distance. And Michigan did the smart thing. They got a new man in the ball game, went right at him. And picked up the first down. Holloway, left, Carter, right. Bear has made the big play. Fake to Lacey. Puts it across the middle. Has his man. That is Mike Cobb. First down inside the 40 at the 37-yard line. Mike Weddington leads the tacklers. Play action pass. You've got Holloway and Anthony Carter clearing out. And who does he go to? The big tight end, Mike Cobb. Right over the middle. The linebackers are trying to cover. There's just no way to get there. That's uh, Maurice Clemens, number 59. Just didn't get deep enough. First down. Now, this drive is a little bit different than the ones we've, we've seen before, Jim, where Michigan came out and ran the football. Now they're throwing the ball. Two plays, Carter, Cobb, first down each occasion. From the 36. This time they give it to their running back. And Williams didn't get much, did he? That's John Joyce, number 47, and on yet another tackle. A gain of two, second down and eight. Clock running, 8 10 to go in the game. Chuck Fairbanks at one time, up by 14, then down by seven, now all tied. Dana Noel has come back into the ballgame. Daniels has gone out at the left cornerback spot. A Bears passed for over 200 yards. Only missed on five of 17 passes. Hold it, their man short. Meeting the generals, and Ricky Williamson comes in at left defensive end. 
And there's Lacey. Lacey does not have the first down, but it'll be third down and short yardage as Lacey gets inside the 30 to the 28. John Joyce again on the tackle. He's having a good night. Lacey's having a good night. 131 yards. But he got overshadowed by that one pass play of Herschel Walker's, and he showed his burning speed and went down that sideline. He was gone. Third down and a long yard to go. Only one setback. Bears going to throw and puts it out and there is his man Eccles the tight end first down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line Terry Daniels makes the stop but Eccles has got yet another first down play they haven't been able to stop Sam Bowers for New Jersey now they can't stop Eccles number 88 for Michigan but watch what he does to Terry Daniels after he catches the football he loves to punish people tucks the ball away and give him a little forearm 24 all six and a half minutes to go and the Panthers putting together a smart drive most of it through the air Carter asked some of the crowd to be quiet so I can hear the they just have to watch for it that's all right ahead Lacey gets inside the 15 yard line to the 14 yard line again a three second and seven Jim, we saw this New Jersey team last Monday night, the defense get tired, and they are tired now. This is a long drive for Michigan. Michigan's moving the ball up, and remember, as you said, they scored three times against this defense in the third quarter. The defense is tired. Dominated the ball game. There are two other games going on tonight. Denver's up at Boston, and not yet started Washington out at Oakland. All the way right, Carter left. Second down, seven. Hebert hands to Lacey. Lacey inside the 10 yard line. And it'll be third and short, about a yard and a half to go. Maurice Clemens is down the bottom of the pile there, along with Sam Sop. Jim, I'm watching Ray Petty, number 74, the tackle. He was trying to signal the bench how much yardage it was to make the first down. His arms just weren't long enough. And he kept stretching his <laughs> fingers out to try to tell the bench it's a little more than a yard. Less than five minutes to go now in this tie ball game. Third down and two to go. Now here's where Ray Penny, number 74, plays a tight end position. A bear still at the ball, putting it out here, has his man. That's Cobb, first down at the five. Noel makes the stop. You like the call? Do you like the call? You gotta love this call. I wouldn't have called it, especially with that big offensive line. But he's gonna hit Cobb. Here's Cobb, he's releasing, play action up the middle. Nobody's around A bear, and he just flips the ball to Cobb. He gets the first down. That's Dana Noel making the tackle. But they've got, again, well, 24-24, I was going to say four-down situation, and I hope everybody understands what I mean. With that big offensive line, you go for the touchdown. Four and a half minutes to go. Michigan looking to go on top. That's Williams. Williams down near the goal line. He's got two touchdowns already tonight. One on a 10-yard run, and another on a 3-yard run. And it'll be second, and a little bit more than a yard to go here. You run the same play. Go Hold right it, in. second and a little bit less than a yard. Yeah, you run the same play, Jim. You go into the meat of that offensive line. That's Tyrone McGriff, 61. Wayne Radloff, number 55, the center. And the right guard, Tom Dornbrook, number 63. And that's, that's where your beef is, your guys that are blocking. And they're exploding off the line of scrimmage. Go at him again. Michigan's got three downs in which to go ahead. Hey there to Williams. His third touchdown. Take 
Taking over Detroit, Michigan. I'm talking about the Michigan Panthers. John Williams, a little thing out of Herschel Walker's playbook. Up over the top, right over Bradliff, number 55, the center. Touchdown. That's his third. Now Boyovich to add the extra point. He's done it. 343 to go. Michigan leads by seven. 3.43 to go, 31-24. Chuck Fairbanks needs lightning in a bottle. He's put Herschel Walker in as the deep man on the kickoff. I got a story to tell about this once this play is over, and we may see that touchdown again, but I do want to tell you something about Walker returning kickoffs. Boyovich to do it. And he should kick to one of the outside men. Don't kick to Walker. Here's Walker from the one. Ten. Still on his feet and out to the 27-yard line. When Walker was at Georgia, and Bud Wilkinson and I were down there for a college game, we said, do you ever use him on returning kickoffs? And he said, no, never do. Still learning to run. And in the second half, Georgia Tech scored about 10 quick points, and Georgia was only leading by about seven. Tech kicked off, and Wilkinson and I looked down at the goal line, and guess who was standing there? 34. Number 34. <laughs> and it happened again tonight <laughs> when Michigan went up top. He does it all. Return the ball from the one to the 28, 27 yard return. Scott has the ball out here and it is caught by the big tight end. Sam Bowers for yet another one for about nine yards. George Dixon said that John Williams earned the right to play in this game to start. Take a look at the blocking. Radliff number 55 just blows his man off the line of scrimmage and Williams goes over the top. Here's that offensive line charge. Just take a look at it. You're going to see Radliff turn his man into the inside. Williams goes over the top. No question. That's that's the 31st point, 30th point for them. There is John Williams. Bowers in motion. There's Herschel Walker. Walker's got the first down. Let me throw something at you, Paul McGuire. Williams has three touchdowns tonight. Lacey's carried for more than 100 yards tonight. A Bear has been almost nearly perfect throwing the football, only missed on maybe a half a dozen times. To say nothing of the defense, Arnold and others. Whom do we pick for men and MVP? Think that over. That may be the toughest job of the night. The trainer for keeping everybody healthy. <laughs> First down. Scott fakes to Walker. Scott throws. There's his man. That is Bowers downfield. And Bowers has got a first down inside the 35-yard line. Chapman put him down. We may have to look for MVPs on the other side of the line of scrimmage. I think so. Sam Bowers has been just running free all evening long. And there's Sam Bowers in motion. And they're not covering. They're not putting a man on him to stay short and long. That's Borland, number 52, the linebacker. Chapman comes up and makes a stop, but a linebacker is not going to be able to stay with the tight end. Two minutes to go. They've got the ball first and 10 at the 32 of Michigan. 31-24 Michigan, two minutes to go, but Jersey's got the ball on a 32-yard line. First and 10. Bobby Scott went out with a sprained ankle, but has come back in. Has thrown a screen pass to Herschel Walker for 65 yards. He's 12 of 17 for nearly 260 yards and a touchdown. Two interceptions. The bootleg does not work. Bootleg does not work, and John Corker has got his first sack of the night. His 21st point five of the year, and it could not have come at a bigger time. Bootleg play, trying a little gadget number here, and Scott's coming to the outside, and Corker was not fooled at all. He was blitzing all the way. Got Scott. Now that takes him out of field position. Mr. New Jersey's going to take a timeout. Well, they do it because they lost eight yards on the play on the sack by Corker. 157 to go. Michigan by seven. Back to the Silver Dome after this. A personal note, but I know you want to join us. Paul and I will be here next week for Birmingham, two weeks from tonight for Tampa Bay division opponents. Second down, 18, the ball at the 40. Scott, over the middle, intended for Walker. Corker breaks it up.
John Corker played this play so very well. He faked the blitz. He was keying on Herschel Walker. When he does that, he sees Herschel slipping out of the backfield. They know they've got to get the ball to Herschel some way. See Herschel, now he's going to slip out. Watch number 57. Corker was right there, almost had the interception. 151 to go, third down and 18. 31 24. and now goes to the other side. Scott puts it out to Walker under closing. Herschel was looking to go. The ball was off his shoe tops. It's fourth down. Ricky Young was out there with him and so was Ron Osborne was out there with him. Herschel Walker, you can't do everything, Herschel. This one was at his feet. The ball hit him in the hands. He should have caught it. But he had some people out there with him. Fourth down, they have to go. Could be the final play of the night for New Jersey, trailing by seven. The first team, after losing four in a row, that Birmingham, that uh, Michigan beat, was New Jersey, and they don't want the Generals to end their five-game winning streak. They want to make it six, and they've got Birmingham coming in next week. Fourth down, 18. Walker in motion. Scott must throw. He does throw. And it's caught by number 89, Bowers. But it's shy of the first down as Borden puts him down. The ball, and I guess the ball game, belongs to Michigan. And the fans have turned out in record numbers for this franchise tonight. New Jersey still has two timeouts left. But that play, they flooded the, the right-hand side of the field the left-hand side of the defense. Bobby Scott did have Herschel Walker open, and they tried to throw a little delayed back to Sam Bauer. He just came along the line of scrimmage, threw the ball back to him, but Borland, who has been tough all evening, trying to stay up with him deep, stayed with him short and made the tackle. One minute, 40 seconds to go. This Central Division is tough. Tampa Bay, Birmingham. Chicago, Williams carries the ball and bursts into the secondary. Lacey has gained 141 yards tonight. Williams has scored three touchdowns tonight. Clock is running. They haven't called timeout. Williams is on his way to a 100-yard game. Tell you what, I know where Paul and I are going to be next Monday night. <laughs> but you'd be here at 8 o'clock Eastern time when the same ball club gets Birmingham of Alabama, which has won its last four in a row. And this team, Michigan, should have won, will have won six in a row. And they're both in the same division. From the 44. Fifty-five seconds, using that clock to the last second. And Lacey bursts into the secondary. That gives him another first down. It's academic now, barring a fumble, turnover of some kind. Chip. And the Menon MVP, $1,000. Contributed by Menon to the college or university of his choice is right there. Bobby Bear, 14 of 19 for 232 yards, and he has engineered some attacks and drives tonight that have been kept in the most part by Williams, who has scored three touchdowns. Time has been called. Now by the Generals with 49 seconds to go. As the men in MVP comes over to talk to Stanley. Now remember, as you look at his stats, that this ball club was down 17 to 3 at the half. And with the exception of the 65-yard screen pass from Scott to Walker, a brilliant play, it has been all Michigan in the second half. And now Don Eccles has a towel and is whipping up the crowd. Oh, he's got him in the center of the field. <laughs> You know, you wonder, people are wondering why Bear. Well, he got knocked out of the game last week. And Bobby Bear has really directed this football team. He's had a lot of poise. And again, the plays are called from the sideline. Uh, Lacey, 22 carries, 7 yards per carry, 156 yards. Williams so far, 16, 79 yards. There are a number of people. Chuck Fairbanks is very upset. But I think Bear kept his poise and kept his team together. 
There Banks, his team liable to go, well, bound to go to 3 and 8 now. 49 seconds to go. A Bear will just go down. Paul, we were in the same kind of situation when Birmingham won its game on Saturday night, in that everybody or so many played so well for Birmingham that we just had to say to Bob Lane, you are our men and MVP at that time. And afterwards, all over, I said, listen, we could have picked any one of your teammates. You played such a great game. And Lane said, well, that's why we're winning. And I guarantee you, should we talk to Bear later tonight and we say that we gave you the MVP and it could have been others, he'd say the same thing. Team played well. Exactly. And he's, they got to be very happy with their offensive line. I still, and you said it before we went to half, Jim, what Jim Stanley was going to say to his football team. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd love to know what he said to him. He said something. There's Herschel Walker. He was brilliant tonight, especially on that 65-yard screen. But his team is going to go down a loser again. By the way, front page story this morning in the Detroit paper called Walker a real winner. Lacey outgained him tonight with a superior offensive line. All of that, and Lacey never scored a touchdown. And Jim, it proves the fact that if Herschel Walker doesn't gain 140 yards per game in the game, New Jersey, they don't win. 43 seconds to go. Ball at the 44-yard line. All he has to is fall down. 30 seconds will go off the clock. The score is 31-24. Tom Meese is standing by with the scores of the other games tonight, although one of them has not yet started out in Oakland, California. They'll let this run down as much as they can, but they've got to get one more snap of the ball. No, they don't, because the official, did, Jim, did not put his hand up until 28 seconds. Well, that's, they can run it off then. The crowd over. will count it down. Six in a row for Michigan. Before their biggest crowd, they won their six in a row, coming back from a halftime deficit of 17 to 3. And now they gear up for a big one next Monday night when Birmingham winners of four in a row coming here. Here's the final score. It is now all over. Michigan 31. 28 points in the second half. The Generals 24.